50 techniques to survive the anxiety society. Are you feeling like there is no way out? Well, here's the first of 50 techniques to try. If you've reached a point in life where you can't seem to make anybody happy and they all want you to be there for them, this one may be for you. Let's give it a go. I'm holding your hand all the way through this one. I'm calling it the balance and integrity sphere. Integrity and balance begins within yourself and is projected out into your world. While others disturb your sense of self at times, perceiving you are overly critical or interfering or indeed not doing enough, you need a technique to diffuse that. So here we go. When to use this technique? This is to be used when you wish to have a boost and feel the best of all your qualities to enhance your most positive aspects and to understand and diminish your frustrations. There you are in a calm and perhaps even a happy state and along comes someone and pow! Where did your happy and calm state go? The power of changing your state is in your own hands your own power, though I know it doesn't feel like it is. This is a process and you can use it when others throw you off balance and pull you out of your happy place. This is the map to get back to there. You're going to now create a balance and integrity sphere. You shall be able to enter here whenever you choose and carry it with you everywhere feeling better in any circumstance. Just like all good things, it takes a bit of effort to set up and a bit of alone time. If you think you are too busy, remember, this is important. This is going to serve your future self so well. Here are the steps then for creating and using this technique. And you can practice it right now so that you can feel better, be balanced and recognize your potential to do what you came here to do. Stage one, form a sphere upon the floor just ahead of you, rising from a circle and give it a bubble-like substance and dimension, translucent though colored with integrity. If you are not particularly visual, then draw one on the paving or do what I did and use a child's hula hoop. <laughs> this needs to be big enough for you to jump or step into this vortex of energy. When you master this mental mind control technique, you carry your balance and inner state of integrity around with you. Stage two, remember, not imagine, remember a time you enjoyed a sense of surety that you were doing the right thing feeling authentic truthful and passionate about what is true and right got it all right now project that into this sphere feel that sense of authenticity within you your true sense of purpose your resilience and tenacity, your ability to see and sense the injustices of your environment are a gift and balance begins with recognizing that it is already there deep within yourself and this is being portrayed out into the world. Whatever is occurring in the world out there remains out there. Because you have trust in your sense of right and wrong, your inner justice, your passionate resolve to be the best you can be and offer your service to the world. Okay, right, now you have this sphere. Notice what you want to be doing. How would you be 
If you were balanced and felt your innate sense of integrity in the face of adversity. See, imagine, sense yourself inside that sphere. Imagine that everything goes perfectly, even if you are criticized for interfering or do not manage to communicate yourself adequately to effect the changes you wish to see. You remember those times when you have felt your powerful, truthful inner state of integrity and intention to do the right thing. You feel the response of your body to this new awareness. No matter what happens, you stay centered and balanced in your intention and calm in your understanding of your own well-being. There are things that will not resolve themselves regardless of that great effort on your part. Change will happen when the time is right and when others are open to the suggestion and maybe other factors need to be in place. You begin to realize now. You do what you can, though it is not totally up to you. You absolve yourself of responsibility. Those things you can do something about, you do. Those things you can't, you don't. And this is the way it is meant to be. Feel balanced now and keep your integrity. You can play with this further and step into the shoes of role playing, of a movie hero or living legend or anyone you admire to get into that calm state. How do they do it? They've been through their stuff and they've arrived strong, confident and understanding. They've been there. How about we borrow some of their strength, confidence and understanding? You cannot be somebody else, though you can try on their behaviour for size if you admire them. Yes, you do not condone another's behavior, but you allow it to just wash over you as unimportant. People will do what people will do. And you know, if there's no bad people, that's an opinion. Maybe your opinion from time to time when somebody has really hurt you or angered you. Though people are not their behaviors. The same person that did you wrong could be extremely loving to someone else. So allow that person or people's bad behavior that you disagree with to wash over you now as unimportant. They're on their path as you are on yours. What would you do? What would your movie hero do? Or your respected other? What would they do if their integrity were challenged? You see them being interviewed on TV or in your own mind's eye now. You see them being challenged. Some of our most respective, prominent celebrities or actors, actresses, politicians even maybe, get challenged continuously. They've learned. They can help you now. You can play with their response without worry of this being an attack. You can play with the response, with being beyond reproach, or with listening and understanding, though knowing sometimes others are off balance or not ready to listen, or may perceive you as other than you are, not realizing your intentions, and well, that's okay. A friend looking at you doing this process will see physical, noticeable changes in your breathing and posture when you've got it. Practice. You will feel a sigh, an understanding, an acceptance of letting go of all that is beyond your control and not your job to worry about. 
You know what is important to you and you do what you can and nurture your state of balance within. So, letting go of others' behavior, feeling strong and confident, connected to your own integrity, being balanced. Step into the sphere now. Develop a full representation of the state. This is stage three. You've stepped into the sphere. What does it feel like to let go and truly relax? How do your shoulders feel? What is your breathing like? What do you see in your mind's eye when you imagine being the best you can be in this scene? Remember times of balance and integrity, being respected and respectful. Yes, they're all very nice at the time, but they are tools for you to utilize when you would otherwise be thrown off balance by those around you now. Those times in the past that you weren't balanced and you were adversely affected by factors of your environment, that's people, places, events, well, that is the past. It is over and gone, and now is a new time. Though the past can serve us well, there are things now to recognize are in the past. The point of power is in the present moment, and that's here, now, with me. <laughs> what do you hear when you think of truth and beauty and balance? How are these things represented to you? What do you see when you think of truth and beauty and balance? How are these intangible things represented to you? What do you feel when you think of truth and beauty and balance? How are these things represented to you? Sense yourself in the sphere feeling wonderful. Totally immerse yourself in truth and beauty and balance. Feel good. Visualize it fully. Feel your greatness and calm. Feel the fullness of the energy. Be balanced. Have and own that integrity, that passion to do the right thing, knowing that you are right, just, honourable and true. It does not matter what anyone else says or does. You are a unique expression in the world and you are doing what is right for you. Now in the future that may alter as you live and learn, but right now, Based on all of your past experience, all of the resources available to you, you know you are doing the best that you can. You know you are right. You are honourable and true. You stay calm and balanced within your own energy. Stage four. Recognise and accelerate that state. Pull up all of your experiences and qualities as if they were a fountain within you from the bottom of your feet and shoot them out of the very top of your head, allowing them to shower down around you. Yes, pictures, images, sights and sounds, smells and tastes, colours and shapes of truth, of integrity, of authenticity and balanced happiness. Yours your experience, your memories, your tools to draw upon and now sense them all around you in this vortex of balance and integrity. Now, as they cascade around you and fall to the ground, pull them back up again into the soles of your feet, becoming more powerful each and every time and feel the zap of energy as you breathe in sharply. <gasps> and shoot them out the top of your head once more. Let them cascade and dance all around and do it again and again and again. 
It feels good. Feel your marvelous power. Be your authentic self. Escalate all of your energy and balance and proper, right and true intention. This sphere is a resource state that you can utilize at any time. Realize that you can draw upon this state at will by practicing it as you are able to bring it forth when you need it most. Do now some physical action to anchor the experience so your inner mind knows when to reconnect you when this powerful resource state is needed. Choose. Often just holding your own hand in a particular way gives you the reassurance that you are doing the right thing. You are always there for you. You can always hold your own hand. When you need it most, all of this powerful state will come back to you. Good. Whew, and relax. Here are some additional notes. You are doing really well. You are doing the best that you can. And that is all your anxiety wants from you. Your anxiety is created from the unconscious mind to call forth your help. Without structure, a maze of seemingly unrelated ideas of what could go wrong and how you might feel get drawn into the present moment and can paralyze us into inaction. Yes, it is your unconscious mind that created the anxiety, all of the imagination of good and bad things happening, all of the memory of good and bad experiences. So we use the unconscious mind to program for the best with the structure I've just given you here. With your sphere, keep creating your best possible future whilst being protected safe, happy and secure within yourself. This is your sphere. These are your hands. You are always there for you. Practice and rehearse your achievements. Practice and rehearse feeling good right now so that you can use it when you need it most. Thank you for listening of my love and good feelings, help and support go with you. Thank you. Bye for now. This is Jenny Kitching, Hypno Woman, signing off. Wishing you well. Bye bye.